Okay, here we are back again, and I'm going to look at a thing called tangency today. Tangency is to do with joining straight lines with a curve of a given radius to give it a nice smooth finish. Now we've got a few examples on this worksheet here, just to show you what it looks like before the curve has been drawn. This is what we start with. We've got two lines here, and they're joined by a right angle. Two lines here joined by an angle of 60 degrees and we've got two lines here joined by an angle of 135 degrees. What we're trying to do is draw a perfect smooth curve that just touches that line and just touches that line. It doesn't miss it on this side and it doesn't go over it on that side. It just kisses it and no more. A tangent, remember, is a line that touches the edge of a circle and then goes away from it. It doesn't cut into it and it doesn't miss it. It kisses it and then disappears. So we're looking for a curve which comes down and kisses this edge and kisses that edge. Same here. One that kisses here and kisses there. And one which comes down and kisses here, goes round and kisses there. Now the radius that we're going to use for the curve, in this case the radius is going to be 30. We're going to use a radius of 30 here, and on this one we're going to use a radius of 40, just to make it a little bit different. So remember, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to draw a bit of a circle in here that just touches here and just touches there. Now if you imagine it's a complete circle we're actually aiming to draw, but the only part we're interested in is the quarter circle which starts here and finishes there. Now we know the radius, so it's fairly straightforward, we're going to set our compass to 30 millimetres. What we don't know is where to put the point of the compass. We could put the point of the compass up here, we could put the point of the compass there, we could put the point of the compass there. But common sense tells us that the compass point is going to have to be 30 millimetres away from here, so that the curve just comes round and kisses there. But while it's 30 millimetres away from there, we also need to make sure it's 30 millimetres away from here at the same time. There's a couple of different ways to do this. I'm going to show you a really simple way, and we're going to use the compass to, that we're going to draw the, the tangent with to help us out. So I know the radius is 30, so I set my compass to 30 millimetres, and what I do is, I'm going to use a compass like that to draw the tangent, but I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to put the point anywhere along this line, doesn't matter whereabouts along that line, and I'm going to draw an arc. Then I'm going to put the point anywhere along this line and I'm going to draw a bit of an arc as well. Then I'm going to take my parallel motion and my set square and I'm going to draw a line parallel to this one and a line parallel to that one, which just kisses this and just kisses that. So we're kind of doing the opposite of what we're aiming to finish with. So I take my parallel motion up there and I draw a construction line that way. I then take my set square and look for the tangent point on here, the point where it just touches that arc and no more, and I draw another construction line. I've now got a crossover point. What I can then do is take my compass, which is still set to 30 millimetres, put the point of the compass there, and there is my tangent to those two lines. To finish that off, what I do is I mark the tangent point. So at the point where it becomes a tangent, which is there, draw a small circle around it and TP for tangent point. Same here, I continue that line out of the way and TP for tangent point there as well. Now we're going to do a similar exercise here and for the last one I'll show you a different way of doing it. So this one here, the radius is still 30. Go through the same process again. I take my compass and I draw a little bit of an arc there. And I take my compass and I draw a little bit of an arc there. Remember the lines that I'm drawing are parallel, so I need a line which is parallel to this one, which comes through here. 
and I need a line which is parallel to that one. This tells me it's at 60 degrees, so I take my 60 degree set square and slide it along till I meet the tangent of that circle or that arc and I draw a line there. Where the two lines cross over, it's right at that point there. I take my compass, again using that centre point and now there is my tangent once again. Now I've got to mark the tangent point in this time now. The tangent point has to make a right angle with this line here. That's a right angle there and that's a right angle there. So I'm going to do the same thing. There's a the centre and I need a line which is going to hit this line at 90 degrees. So I go to where my compass point was, draw a line down the way, there's my tangent point, TP. This time this angle is going at 60 degrees. I need to make a right angle with that perpendicular line going back to the centre where the compass was sitting, draw a line through like that, that's now giving me a right angle there, put a circle around it and TP for tangent point. This one I'm going to do slightly differently and I'm going to use some of the skills that we just picked up there using this perpendicular line. Now what I know is that that line going from there to there is also the radius of the circle and that must be 30 millimetres. So I can use that information here. I've got a line here which is horizontal. I'm going to draw a perpendicular line to it, anywhere at all along its length. So I draw a perpendicular line. This time the radius is 40, so I'm going to measure along that line 40 millimetres. And draw my construction line. Now similarly, this line here is the radius of that circle. It is perpendicular to that line there. So what I can do is I can go to this line here, which is at 45 degrees to the horizontal, or 135 degrees as its complement. I can draw a construction line anywhere along its length, and once again I can measure 40 millimetres. draw a line parallel to this one. Coming down like that, where the two lines cross over, which is there, is where I'm going to put my compass. So once again I set my compass to the correct radius, which in this case is 40 and not 30. Put my compass point where the two lines cross over and I do my tangent down here quite hard to see but it's just along the bottom edge here that's my tangent point now once again what I do is I go back to this point where I put my compass and I'm going to draw a line which is perpendicular to this one here so I take my set square draw a line perpendicular to the line which is being made a tangent and there is my tangent point. I do the same thing here. I go to the centre point where the compass sat and I draw a perpendicular line. Up to that point, put a circle and TP for tangent point. So there are three different orientations of lines. These two were done using the arc method find our construction lines. This one here was found using the perpendicular construction line method. This is simple, simple even, tangency. We're now going to go on for the second part of this lesson and I'm going to show you how to join these together with tangent points or with arcs.